five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to TBSW Podcast, episode 139. I am Devin and I'm here with Emma. Hello. I'm here with CJ. Hello. And it's just the three amigos. Three amigos. Uh, Alexander has tonsillitis, uh, so he is out this week. Freedom Day. <laughs> Freedom Day in Australia is coming up. Freedom Day Two in Australia days time. is coming up. That means we can do pretty much anything. Mm. Do, you, do you think we go, once Freedom Day starts, we're going to get freedom for a certain period of time and then all those freedoms will be taken away again? No. <laughs> I think they're just going to roll with it. I feel like until ICU becomes uh, incapable of handling the COVID cases, but until then, they're just going to let it roll, no matter what happens to the cases. So, so one week? <laughs> I think they will do like maybe snap lockdowns for possibly areas or businesses and schools and stuff will still have to go into lockdown if there's like cases or whatever. But they might just do it like that rather than a full on. Especially with the new premier because he just thinks it's an economic crisis more than anything. So I don't think he'll want a lockdown yeah. to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think of the new premier? Not mm. not keen, not keen. Mm. Mid, he seems like a bit of a. I get the um people have been saying that he's a bit um old fashioned. He's yeah. not keeping up with the times. That's I the. I don't mind. I don't mind old fashioned, but you need to be able to. You know, how about the masses? You can't just be. You know what I mean? No. You can't be stuck in the past. That's why just then you're never going to move forward. Yeah, I'm saying he's old fashioned and like he's got a lot of ideas that probably don't suit today. Yeah, 100%. He's against same-sex marriage. He's against um, abortion. He's like, he, you know D Da Vinci Code? Yeah. With the Opus Dei priests? Yeah. Mm. That, the school he went to was run by yes. Opus Dei priests. <laughs> like, is, oh, is that right. the guys that... Yeah, whip beat, themselves. Is that beat. the guy that, beat, that beat the shit out of themselves? Yes. Yeah. So it's Man, quite traditional, a, let's just say. Doug, no one can give that guy a beating like he could give to himself. Yeah. Mm. And he came from a, he, he came, he's one of 12 and he's got six kids. So I don't, I think it's so very good. Obviously, um, safe sex is not something in their household. Yeah, mm. no. Nah. Mm -mm. nah. So we'll see oh, what happens. Oh, he's pull out. All his pull-out games. <laughs> so, so um, since um, since COVID happened, um, the mask has been been part of uh, the attire, the essential wear. Reason I thought you were talking about Jim Carrey, the mask. Yes, the, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I mean, you can wear the mask. <laughs> you can wear the mask. I mean, so like when I go out, I usually wear my my basic essentials: are singlet, underwear, socks, mask. Right. Clothes? Um, <laughs> no essential uh, wears. Um, uh, is clothes can you make sure wear? you put on pants, <laughs> pants as well? Because I like, mean, <laughs> I, 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 I don't think people want to see that. <laughs> oh wait, but I did just get him these really incredible new undies. Mm. They are different. Okay, so you know how people say, you know, oh, why are toilet toilets the same? Why are toilet seats the same? Like, you know, things have to change. Well. These undies yeah. have changed. So there's a compartment. They're called Sparks. And there's a compartment where your ball sack sits in it. So it's away from your skin. Not that I'm a guy, but apparently it's, I mean, hallelujah. H hold on. Is there like a... As a pouch. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you guys can see of my reactions here. Let me, yeah. okay. No, Is there yeah. like... You got for this sausage, and then you've got for the. No, it's all in yeah. one. Yes. Like that? Yeah. 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 Okay. But does it have like a sausage? No, hole as well? no, no. Yeah, it's got space for there as well. It's got like space there, to for you to put it in there, and yeah. it actually works. No, that's right. Like it's less chafe. Like it. You know how sometimes you less you, chafing. Well, you know how sometimes your balls stick to your thighs. There's none of that. When do your ball? When do your balls stick to your thighs? You or know when it's really sweaty, sweaty and hot. Sweaty and hot. That doesn't happen to you when you were a tradie in that. Or do you have to adjust them? Uh, I'm adjusting regularly, but what, what kind of underwear do you have we to wearing? Adjust in prior? the sparks. 
No, I don't. It's a separation there. there. So when I'm wearing like boxes and like they, like it sticks, it sticks to the sides. I must be sweating that much. I don't know. Dude, you must have like a real sweaty thigh or something. Yeah, I got some sweaty balls. Like, you know, um, Chef from um, South Park? Chocolate salty balls. But you know, you know what I'm thinking now. Yeah, you were my spotter when I was bench pressing. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, check out the Sparks undies. So, can you imagine Dev walking with his Sparks undies, his socks, mask? What else did you say was essential? Singlet. Oh, you did say singlet, yeah, yeah. right? Okay, so your undies are a singlet, basically. Yeah. Socks and mask. Oh, and no, I, socks. I kind of. I can't imagine him doing that because since I've known him, he's been a bit of a prude. <laughs> so your shorts or your your trousers, or your pants aren't essential. No, they're essential. But I'm talking about what I would before. All right. So when I leave a house, I always check my pockets to see if I have my phone, wallet, keys. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's the same with me. Once I got my clothes on, I go. I make sure I have my undies, singlet, socks, and mask on. Got you. They're, that's what I'm saying. Before I leave the house. This is what I check for. Gotcha. But okay, yeah, undies wouldn't they just be normally on? So, <laughs> yes. Have you gone out the house for undies? Yes. I was in a hurry, really? and I don't know why I would miss that part. <laughs> I don't know why. No, no. I I have forgotten underwear in certain places. Yeah. Right, but like like. Forgotten, I just couldn't find them, so just for him. <laughs> That's them. different. <laughs> Le- left them there, mate, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you talking after a night of debauchery? Debauchery? <laughs> I, 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 I call it, I call it lovemaking. <laughs> <laughs> a night of passion. <laughs> a night of passion and romance. <laughs> so... With the mask, with free day, Freedom Day coming and the mask not becoming uh, mandatory to wear out in public soon by December 1st, mm-hmm. I think it is. Mm-hmm. Is it going to be weird for you seeing people's faces again? No, because like, okay, for the last few months, I've been seeing a lot of what I am assuming to be very attractive women. They have like from here to here done up to the max, like... Eyebrows are looking schmick, you know. Mm. Wait, 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 I wouldn't wait, mind seeing wait, the rest of their faces. Wait, when you so describe I, what you can I, see, I, you can see their eyes, their eyebrows, the eye, the eyebrows, and forehead, and forehead, and their hair, and their hair, yeah, and their, and their hair. And like, I'm, I'm like, man, I mean, I think she's pretty. Yeah, like I'm having trying to have a bit of a chat, a bit of a flirt, and this poor thing has got no idea what I look like because I'm wearing a mask. I've got no idea what they look like. Mm. <laughs> At this point, should so you get like married? So being able to reveal this changes everything. It just changes. Just this part of your face. It changes it, everything. It changes. It changes everything. Changes. To reveal the bottom half of the face reveals a, like, yeah. it, a lot of things change. Like, <laughs> um, Imagine they've got a beard like me. Imagine the mask. Imagine you could only see this part of the face. <laughs> I don't know why that would happen, but imagine. Would to- that be worse? The top half, you mean? No, imagine you could only see your nose down. Um, would that be worse? I don't know. I, I don't know. Th- that would change. Because the eyes say everything. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know like, I imagine know. there was a day where we had to wear, like, blackout goggles or something. I don't know. The sun suddenly comes, whatever, becomes, I don't know, toxic for our eyes or something. So everyone has to wear and black hat. Very- <laughs> <laughs> and and, it, and it's, it's summertime. It's been very confusing for me because I've been seeing like women yeah. like, with their breasts being pushed up. Yeah. They're putting the girls on show. Yeah. Right? Okay. The puppies. Yeah. <laughs> and like, and, and short shorts. Mm. And then I forget like, mask on. I'm like, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> it just so- feels weird. So <laughs> the thing is with the mask, right? Some some men have uh, full beards, like CJ. CJ has a full beard, but I've seen CJ without a beard, I do. and yeah. he looks okay without a beard, probably... right? But what there's are you what, is, the... what are you saying? I look better with a beard. No, <laughs> I'm saying you look the same whether you have a beard or without a beard. You look good yeah. either way, right? But there's some men. Th- thank you. 
that have when they have a beard they look very good, and then when they have no beard, they have a chinek. Oh, I've never heard of that. Me either. I just made it up. It's a chinek, <laughs> like their chin and neck combined. What's, or a nin. Some they have a nin. <laughs> What's a nin? Neck and chin, a nin. A nin. Yeah, sometimes they have a double chin, Siege. But the the beard, where they have the beard, there's a definition where their chin ends and where their neck begins. But once they remove that yeah. that beard, they become a chinek. A, a, du- a, a duble a, nin. A duble nin. <laughs> a nin. See, I'm probably going to shave my beard off eventually again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's something I just I, I grow then shave then grow yeah. then shave yeah. and grow and shave yeah Is yeah it you let it breathe you let your chin breathe yeah um it's been getting itchy the last few days so that's partly but, another one of the reasons why I want to shave it when you shave it is it like freedom for your face <laughs> what do you is it, are you keeping your uh, face uh, in captivity <laughs> are you uh, <laughs> are you <laughs> like does it can you feel the wind on your cheeks more and stuff like that. Yes, you actually can. <laughs> um, yeah. So it feels like, oh wow, nice. Uh, like I, 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 I love the feeling of having a freshly shaved head. Yes, I do too. I do too. It feels so nice. It just like, uh, yeah, it it's nice. Great. If it, it's, I don't know, it's refreshing. Yeah, and when you sleep that night with a freshly shaved head, it's like an awesome sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have um, a be- uh, a tan line for your beard if you've been in the sun and then you oh. have a shave? You, you, um, I will have a tan line. Yeah. But I probably have a mask tan line as well. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen those ladies that have been on the beach but they forgot to take off their mask? Oh. So they're doing their like, they've taken their top off so they've got no tan lines. But because they've left their mask on, We've got a tan line of their oh, mask, no. but their tan line and their body's perfect. They've got no tan. They've That's got- like on Love Island, for yeah. instance. So, because they wear a full face of makeup every day. Yeah. Well, they've got makeup on every day, but they're tanning throughout the two months. So, when they take off their face at night, their when face they take is so off their pale. Face. When they take off their <laughs> when face, when they their makeup, their faces <laughs> are so pale, and then their bodies are all tanned. Yeah. Are any a lot of those people? That's not the face they were born with, mate. No. <laughs> but, Some of them are natural. It's, yeah. Emma loves uh, Love yeah. Island. You can't, you can't make fun of Love Island people. I, I, Emma loves them. I, I know. I know. But, and it's, I find it quite upsetting because Emma's quite intelligent. Mm. And the fact that she likes Love Island makes me question that. I well, love all reality TV <laughs> well, shows. Well, I think she is uh, uh, an observer of social People. interaction. That's why I did sociology at uni. Yeah. She actually loves watching all kinds of people in the wild. Yeah. In their natural yes. habitat. But like, in their natural habitat. But these people <laughs> are so stupid. No, no, no actually, actually not all of them are, not. to be they're honest. They're not. Like, that's what's think killing of, me. Think of this. Do you remember Alexander got offered to do Love Island or, no, Married at First Sight? They just pick people, yeah. but some of these people have really are actually pretty smart or have proper jobs. Mm. I heard in one of the promos for the Australian Love Island, mm. one of the young ladies sl- saying, um, I can never dim my light. I heard that um, one. I've had to dim, but I've had to dim my light before because of somebody. I'm like, but you can't dim it. You just said it. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna get a plethora of people, right? So you're going to get people that are a bit, you know. A wide variety of people. A wide variety. Yeah. Um. An eclectic okay, so the, bunch. So, so, the, eclectic. so what you're saying is they're all, they're all not very, they're all not stupid. No, no. they've had like <laughs> Neuroscience. robotic engineers, yeah. like yeah, like rocket scientists. Yeah, they were, like they have all sorts. Wow. Yeah, doctors. Like I expected. To, yeah, doctors. I'm not gonna lie. I expected the Love Island cast to be like the um, dim my light girl. No, they everybody. Had, <laughs> they've had last one. They had a teacher on the English one. There was a doctor. Um, yeah, like just random, all sorts. So that completely changes my opinion, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've never watched the show, but I, I expected them to be not too bright. They're, they're smart. Some, some are, some aren't. They're smart people on their siege, but like, uh, I still can't watch it. <laughs> I still can't watch the thing. It's, 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 it's a lot of just uh, watching. <laughs> of, it's, <laughs> probably, it's probably like watching Jordy jo- it's probably like watching Shaw. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Emma, no. okay, Emma, Emma can only George, tell the difference. Do you watch Geordie Shaw? I, I know. I ha- Emma, 
I've only watched the first season of Geordie Shore because I was a Jersey Shore person and then I was like, Geordie Shore? <laughs> so I've watched all of jo- Jersey Shore and then Geordie Shore came. But What's then Jersey Shore? Jo- mookie? Oh, no. mookie? Snooky. Oh, hold Snooky. on. <laughs> have, you seen the, have, you seen, have you seen the new Jersey Shore? No, no. I haven't actually. No. I actually, I actually have. <laughs> and do you like it? Okay. Um, what is that when you're ashamed to watch something, but it's a, gu- a it's guilty a pleasure? Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. Yeah, that's that's Jersey, Jersey Shore is a guilty pleasure. Of it's great. Jersey Shore is great. Um, I hate myself for watching it, but I can't turn away. Yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> Are you a are you a disposable mask guy or a uh, a reusable mask guy? Both, I don't mind as long as my face is covered. Mm. I agree. When I go for my walks, I use my disposable masks only because I have more of them. Whereas if I have to, I don't have that much. I've only got probably three reusable masks, so I don't want to reuse it every like I've I've got to wash it right. So then I'll default to mm. my disposable. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I'm really looking for... Are you guys going to, on Freedom Day, stop wearing the masks or we when do you guys have plan to. to stop wearing them? We still have to. You have to wear it for all indoor venues. Um, you don't have to wear it for exercise or outdoor recreation, but you still have to wear it everywhere else. Until, and then on the next one, you have to wear it for... I think you still wear it, but then on the 1st of December, you only wear it for train, like public transport. No, I think, I think I'm not... My mask is like my phone at the moment. You know when you check your pocket and sometimes you go, oh, shit, where did I put my phone? That's the mask for me at the moment. Mm. I put it on. If I don't have it on, I go, oh, shit, mm-hmm. where, where is it? Like I, I panic to get it mm-hmm. at the moment. I don't know if that will ever change, but I don't. It's a habit net for me now. Mm-hmm. Get outside, put the mask on. Do you think everyone will just stop? Now, yes. Come the day? Yes. Oh, people are trying to stop now. Yeah, people like, are trying to stop When I got now. to work, I saw, I saw people's faces. I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, I heard during the week, Star Trek, Captain, mm. beam mm. me up, Bill. Scotty. No, beam me up, Bill. William Shatner is going into space with... Uh, what, for real? Yeah, with Amazon yeah. guy. He's trying to get Jeff. away from COVID. Jeff. He's a high-risk guy. Will and Jeff. Will and, Je- <laughs> Will and Grace. Will and Jeff, are yeah. Are they going into space? Are yeah. They? So it's, Low he's, orbit, so of course. I hope... He starts saying some of his lines. So is he the first celebrity? Mm. Other than obviously Jeff and um No, but he but but, but he was like the first celebrity that had a TV show and done movies based in space to yeah. up in space. He was in space, Star Trek. Wow. Yeah. And now he's actually he's going, going he's, into space. He, he's he's well, he's gone where no man's gone before. <laughs> well no star no trek he's gone before anyway. So how long are they gonna be up there? About an hour? Yeah, I don't think even that long. I wonder if Elon will yeah. will go himself. He's not actually been yet, has he? That's where he came from. <laughs> Why would he want to go? No, no. Why <laughs> would he want to go? He was made in a factory. He was made in a factory, <laughs> mate. Oh, that's funny. Would you go? Um, yes. If there was, if they asked me, do you want to go into space? Mm-hmm. I'll go. Yep. No worries. I'll go through training. If I can withstand the training, then yeah, I'll go in space. Would you Why go not? to Mars? No. <laughs> So where would you no, go? Just the space. What, what's your what's your limit? Well, people have done shit before. <laughs> Whatever people have done before, I'll follow that same path. I don't want to be the first person there. You don't uh, want to be the, the rabbit, follow, the test. I'll, I'll follow people's footsteps. I'm not the guy that's the pioneer. Mm. I'm not the Leading spearhead. The yeah. I'm the tail of the of the arrow, if that is a good got analogy. You. If got there's, you. You're the feathers on the tail. I'm on no, I'm past the feathers. So the feathers, what's the end part of the arrow? Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm the furthest part of the arrow. That's who I am. The knob. <laughs> the coxus. <laughs> the coxus of the... <laughs> um, CJ, would you go? Talk about a life-changing experience. Yeah, be I think unreal. I'd go. It'd be but unreal. This is the thing, like, it's so scary. If something goes wrong, that's it. You're done. Like, you're done. Yeah, You've got family at home. It's most, kids. It's anything. Kids, you know. A- yeah, it's anything. I could be done driving to work. I know, I yeah. know. I could be done yeah. getting off this chair, slipping over and smacking my head on the table. Highly unlikely. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Highly unlikely though. Look, yeah, I get but it. it could happen. Yeah. 
Oh no, I'd go too because I'm and, fascinated. And, and, I think and, I'd go. And and, and if know. if you're gonna get done, what a way to go! Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine that in your eulogy? Oh yeah, mate, doing something that like only a few of people have done. Mm. It would be so amazing to actually be in space, mm. looking down <laughs> on the world. Yeah. Can you from up there? Can you tell if the world's flat or not? You should be able to. Yeah, you would be able to. How? Because if it's a big circle, it's not flat, dude. Why? Because you don't get up. Well, you're going to get a flat ball. In all honesty, I don't know if you'd be able to tell because most people are only going up for about an hour and and then back down. Are they going high? And they're going low orbit. What are you seeing? Low orbit. You can probably only see. The outskirts, but it could just be a dome that you could see, really. You wouldn't be able to, because you haven't gone around fully. But the space center does go around about a few times a day. Mm. So that would, unless they're going around that way. (laughs) How do you know if it's flat or not? Anyway. Oh. Uh, Dad joke? You want to, let's split it up with a dad joke? Yeah, I got it one. Go on then. What does uh, Mario wear? Mario from Mario Brothers wear? Dungarees. Lingerie. Lingerie? No. <laughs> denim, denim, denim. Ah! Oh, wait, I think you told me this a couple of weeks ago and I totally forgot. <laughs> I might have given the same answer as well before. <laughs> denim, denim, denim. That wasn't mine. Denim, A friend denim, told denim. me that. I thought, oh. denim, denim, denim. when I heard that joke, I hysterically okay. laughed okay okay <laughs> hysteric okay you know that per- you know that person yeah he's not really your friend no i actually like it i actually give might it, that write that you one a down terrible joke like that <laughs> all right dad joke I'm number writing two it down dad joke number two mm-hmm. what do you call the space between the front door and the back door in a porto the portal what a porto chicken yeah the portal no what? cj i don't know what Peri peri neum. Ay ay ay. Do you get it? Yes. Where's the peri peri neum? Between your front and your back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not writing that one down. <laughs> he told me that joke oh, as well. Right. I was in tears. I was in tears in that one as well. Homeless. Hey, what's up, guys? Me again. Still homeless. This is my morning and night routine COVID edition. I fold up my blanket, put my pillow away, and take down my window coverings. I slide into my front seat and head to my friend's house, who is nice enough to let me shower at her home while my gym is shut down during COVID quarantine. I bring a duffel bag with my toiletries and a travel towel. At night, my routine is basically just the opposite. I put my window coverings up in the front first. They're great for privacy and blacking out my windows. I slide into my back seat elegantly, and I put the back ones up, which involves shoving a couple pillows in the back behind the headrest. Ads. Hate how (laughs) ads just come up everywhere. With three and a half turn so, time, sh- sh- the all new ice so she lets MUX her friend let her sleep in there. No, no, no. I'm just thinking, right? I'm I change it. Yeah. Hold on. I'll, wait, we'll finish, we'll finish it off. Something comfortable and get my blanket out and hit the hay. Why am I homeless? I've only got a minute to match all this, so bear with me, guys. I've been homeless by definition most of my adult life, and I've even lived in my car before briefly. So I'm not that unfamiliar with being in uncomfortable situations and being homeless. I couldn't afford to go out and get cheap food with friends. I was skipping meals to save money, and I was slowly and steadily going into debt. So I decided to cut my biggest bill out, rent. Money was the biggest factor, but my other motivators were that I like to be minimalistic, I like to be challenged to be resourceful, I like new experiences, and I knew personal growth would come of it. Today I afford to live a happier life because of this lifestyle. So when I say I chose this, I did. I chose it. 
So you didn't I, like it. I don't. I don't know. I like. I think what shocked me was that she said she just chose it because she didn't want to pay rent. No, I get. I get why she would want yeah, to go sure. against the grain of society and like live like uh, as CJ said earlier. It's her choice, and it's good. Like you being able to have a choice of how you live your life. Mm. I just think she's making it more happier than it actually is. Oh, okay. Yeah. For the camera. Yeah. Like, wouldn't you want to, like, cuddle? There's no cuddling in that. You go to the bar. I know she said she doesn't go to the bar and stuff, but let's say you meet someone and you go, um, let's go back to my place. Come back to, m- <laughs> Come back to my place. <laughs> we can do Netflix and chill what? on the on the phone, you know? We'll have a, I'll cook you dinner. Mm, nah, she's not cooking. She's cooking from her campfire stove. <laughs> okay. If I met her and would I have to go back to my place? This is, would it turn you off knowing that someone was a minimalist, minimalist CJ? No. Living in their car? Not at all. Not at all. That'd be good, eh? I reckon it'd be good. That'd be good. Imagine how much money, how much money you save. Oh, you'd, you'd move in with her? <laughs> no, no, no. How much money like, you save? They wouldn't the be where, expecting you to like, take them to like she, all the fancy like, places. You, like, yeah. You don't have to take them like, to a five-star restaurant. Yeah. She'd be happy with Maccas. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like if you want to go away somewhere, she'd be happy camping at Brisbane. Do you do you feel See, like the dream of owning your own home should be gone and everyone be, should become a minimalist? I don't even know what we're talking no. about here. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's a good option. So, if you are struggling, that's what I'm saying. Or if you're well, older. Does she have parents? Who? This woman, this girl. The girl. I don't yeah, because she said she, most of like, her adult life, she, maybe she went to college and she's just done this since she was at college. I was going to say, if I had a daughter and she's like, she was living in the house, I'm like, sweetheart, you, 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 you just crash here, you know that, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm we, gonna charge we, still lo- we still love you. Know? We still love but you. But you have to remember, a lot of people not in Australia. I feel like Australia is different. Tend to go to um, university and college that's not near their home. Mm. Like they move out, and they that's basically when they leave the nest. Yeah, but like, you want to become homeless and be homed? No, I don't think she. I reckon she didn't go into it intending to be, but she just decided to do I it. I think being homeless is a sense of freedom. I think, uh, like, not having rent or ownership of something gives you... If you chose it. If you choose it, a sense of, like, I'm not living with the norm of society. I am going against the grain. Maybe it's, like, less responsibility. I think think we put too much responsibility in our lives to achieve stuff that is uh, social constructs. Okay, <laughs> you own your own home, dude. How can you be saying that? That's what I'm saying. I feel like if I didn't own my like, own home, I wouldn't worry about it. No, if you didn't own your own home, you'd be in the granny flat at your mum and dad's house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be living in your car. No, I wouldn't be living in my car. No, no, I'm saying just not having the goal of owning a house or renting. It's sort of you're living outside what everyone is trying to achieve of owning a house or trying to get ahead in life. That's why some people like to live off the grid in the sticks. That's why I guess... I don't mind kids, living off the grid. That's why kids... Off the grid or on the grid? Off. I don't mind being off the grid or on the grid. <laughs> Depends what, what, what day it is. Either or. <laughs> <laughs> uh there you go. That was what that I just thought was fascinating, but maybe I was more fascinated than you guys. Yeah, I just got like like if your friend is letting you shower at their place, don't they think they might just let you stay? Because mm. not if you choose like, to like, be homeless. You got, like, like, like you guys are my friends, yeah. right? If you guys need us somewhere to stay, I'm not going to like throw you guys out. No, but I think she chose it so she could then have money to free up money so she could then hang out with her friends and stuff. So if she lived with her friend, she'd either have to pay rent or it wouldn't like. Yeah. 
Like it's different if she actually fully was really struggling and had zero money. Yeah, she has money. She just doesn't want to own a home. Well, she said now she can live a happier life and do what? things she wants to do because she. Hey, Siege, why did you want to own a home? I don't know. Just something to do, I guess. <laughs> it, but like, did you did you have an idea in your head or like a vision in your head that that was the step to take to own a home? I did. No, I feel. I think it was more the fact, like, I was thinking, like, when I turn 60, where am I going to live? <laughs> Renting, even just, we only rented for not long, but when it's not yours, you don't have that security because yeah. it happened to us twice where the owners wanted back in mm. or they wanted to sell. And so it's just like you never have the security. To, for, you, you don't know when it's going to end. Mm. You can't do what you want to do to the house because it's not yours. So having your own home relieves the, that stress of not of not feeling secure and having to find somewhere so else. So owning your own home is secure? For me. Yeah, it's security. It's security. Yeah, because like now I know I've got somewhere to stay when I get old. So it doesn't matter if your property is worth a dollar? Nah, as long as you have somewhere to sleep. That's yours, yeah. And shower. A shower and take a poop. So that, yeah, okay. So like, okay. Right. So you just want to own something. Yeah. For security. Mm-hmm. I just feel like uh, you, you get taught up, uh, you get taught dr- when you grow up. When you grow up, you get taught certain ideologies of what your goals in life should be. And in my head, I've always been told to get property and set yourself up. For later, yeah, we got make sure you yeah, like put your super, make sure you take care of your super, make sure you get a you save so you have stuff for the future. But like, we also need to enjoy the now, that's that's the thing, right? How how much are you enjoying? What's the balance between the you moment, enjoying the now and through COVID, through COVID, not really enjoying the now that much. But I'd like to maybe go overseas again. Yeah, travel a bit. I want to travel things like that when things when things settle down. Mm. So you so how much do you think about yeah? So how much do you think about the future compared to like what's the ratio of you thinking about what the future holds, what you put into the future, and then how much you enjoy now? Like what's your how much do you You spend? You gotta find the balance of what you're comfortable with. Yeah, I'm saying where you, where are you at? Are you spending more like money on pe- the future or for the future? No, I'm I'm saving. I'm still saving now. Um, I'm putting money away, and I have extra money. And that extra money is mine to enjoy. Yeah. So, all right. Let's. I don't think so. If there's like, uh, let's say you have a hundred dollars, right? How much of the hundred are you putting to your future, and how much are you putting into enjoying your life now? At the moment, I'm probably probably putting a hundred bucks into my future because we can't really do nothing. Yeah, but let's say <laughs> lockdown's finished. Same. Lockdown's finished. Not, to be honest, okay, I haven't really had that opportunity yet because it's basically when I bought this house and moved yeah. in. See, um, that's the thing. Down. All right, we'll talk about you buying the house, right? Let's say we were buying the house. You were Mm -hmm. putting a lot of money into your future because you knew you were buying the house. Yes. So you didn't really spend anything for the now. And that took a while, right? You 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 did a lot to go for your future. I still went I still but I like I like I'm not like extravagant person that likes to spend money. Yeah. I like simple things. Yeah. Like me, I enjoy going to the movies, eating out every now and then. I'm not the kind of person that's gonna go spend seventy thousand dollars on a car. Oh, eighty thousand dollars. No, 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 no. For for me, a car's a car. It's got four wheels. It goes from point A to point B, and it's reliable. That's all that matters. I agree. It doesn't matter what what kind of badge it has. Mm. But let's not right. let's say not um, a car, but uh, um, something you enjoy. Like you said, you like going overseas, um, or like you see one of those statues that you like that's worth five k. 
you know, one of those Marvel statues. Yeah, I, 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 I see them all the time. I just don't buy them. That's what I'm saying. So you are not looking, you're not enjoying the now as much as you're always looking for the future. You know what I mean? No, no not that. I think 5,000 bucks, like, it's cool to look at. Yeah. But, but to own it is a bit different. Like, I can't justify spending $5,000. I agree. On a toy. At this point in my life, I'd rather put on the mortgage. See, again, see, that's what I'm saying. So you, you don't see that, that, that paying the mortgage is still looking towards the future. This is what I'm saying. Like, how much do we look, do we focus on the future more than like... Way more than now. Or may, way more than the now. That's yeah. what I'm trying to get at. And, yeah, yeah. And... And that balance that I think we talk for us about is probably eighty percent for the future. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like we we plan for the future that <laughs> that will be fine. Yeah, and then we'll be that might not happen. Yeah, well that's yeah, yeah it might not happen. But also, these are the tougher years where you are because unless these aren't you were the tougher years, the tougher years are when you can't move. It's going to get tougher. These aren't In the tougher years. These your, are the good years. Your where you're at your peak financially isn't probably now. Mm. It's probably 40s and 50s. So we're saving for the tougher years. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this sucks. This whole system sucks. But I think think we will enjoy it more when our children are grown. And you travel with them. I I tell you. And we can then travel. Yeah, look, I I will put it to you this way. My mum is always looking for the future. So much so... That she is saving money for us so that she can leave money for us. She thinks about the future when she's not even there. She's saying, I'm like, mum, spend your money. She's like, nah, i got to leave you money so you have something when I'm gone. I'm like, so we're always constantly looking for the future so that oh, everyone else okay. is I'm like, not, we're always, always I'm looking. I'm not doing that. <laughs> if, the, if I have children... Let me know. and if you guys ever hear this podcast, if I ever have children, um, I'm sorry. I'm enjoying all, all my savings and all my hard work. No, hundred percent. Leave the house. Hundred percent. You guys can split it and enjoy it. But like, if I got like a hundred, if I'm like hit sixty, I got like a hundred fifty thousand dollars left. I'm enjoying it. Me, and my bad hip, are going out <laughs> and have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't ever think that. Um, Parents or anything so you, should should uh, be forced into s- saving. No, money they're not forcing. To... It's just the ide- ideology that the that we have in our heads that we. No, it's, like, it's old. That's an old school ideology. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Right, like like my, my opinion is, if you pay for the education, you've given them enough. They mm. can work it out from there. Yeah. Yeah. But we're like knowing that they had the house to split at least, but. Like I get it. Like yeah. even my grandparents, they they told um, my parents straight up, we are spending what would be your inheritance on Us. this place in this retirement village because they've got all these amenities and facilities yeah. that we want to be able to utilize and enjoy. Is that okay? To like hope you don't mind type thing. Mm. And that's fine. Uh, hold on. Why would I wouldn't even ask if that's okay? Well, I think they were just it your, giving them a heads up. It ain't yours. It's your inheritance. Mm. You ain't inherited shit yet. I'm still here. <laughs> no, it's more just like a heads up, isn't it? I think I, think I like uh, Emma's other grandparents and what they did. Instead of waiting till I die to give your inheritance, if I'm saving inheritance up, I'll give it to you now so I can see that you're enjoying it. Oh, yeah. I'm not giving you... Mate, you, 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 they're getting a house. No, no, I it no, it. no, I so get my, that, uh, I get that, but that's like... So my grandparents will just dump like a lump sum of money into each of our accounts, like randomly. Just, just out, of, out of the blue, out of the okay. blue. Okay, one question is, will your grandparents adopt me? <laughs> oh, it's not like a massive amount, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's not. Like, it's not huge amounts, but it's still, you go, oh, you didn't need to do that. It's yeah. unexpected. Yeah. And we don't, uh, like, Emma doesn't ask for Never. money. And Emma always tells them, please don't. Like, enjoy your enjoy your retirement. Enjoy your life now. Like, you've earned it. Like, yeah. you know. Um, I, I think people, they've earned, like, older generation have earned the right to enjoy their lives. Yeah. They, they've, they've raised us. They've gone to work. They've got us an education. Mm. 
They've done the hard yards. Mm. Uh, but I, I agree. So for my, those grandparents, they like to travel and they like to go away, even if it's just a few nights here and there or going overseas, but they don't really do much else, but they're not really those types of people that like do much else. So for them, they've just, if they've got it sitting there, mm. they want to see, like you said, people spending it straight away type thing. Yeah. I, I, ra- I rather they get that money, invite the whole family around, go to a very good restaurant pay and pay the bill, but enjoy and create memories of everyone. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. They're just giving cash. Like if I had money and like in that situation, I'll say, all my grandkids, come on. Well, grandpa's taking out to dinner, mate. You know? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I do like quick fly. I, I fly in every now and then to pop in and see them. Surprise. Uh, hey. But the thing is, the older, the older you get, the more time you have, right? Yeah. And the more time you have, you, you do the stuff you want to do, but then you still have a lot of time, right? And and you hear it all the time. Uh, my my grandparents are actually weird. They don't like to see. No, not my grand, not near yeah, my grandparents, not the kids' grandparents. My grandparents are like, all right, we've seen you enough. <laughs> we've seen you enough. Do you know why? Why? I've met you, bro. I understand what that yeah, means. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like <laughs> small, small, bite-sized bite size pieces. You can't take me to like an hour at yeah, a time. Is alright. Hour a year. Very, very, <laughs> very small bites. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just interesting that we always look forward, always looking forward. Yeah, no, that is it's, interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I saw this game where I feel like. I feel like I don't know who made this up. Okay. I don't know who made this up, but CJ, look at your screen and tell me what you think of this game and if you'd be good at it. Yes, I will be. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> That's my CJ. CJ's my man holding my feet. Look Dude. at the guy. First of all, if you were doing it, you'd stand up. I wouldn't be holding your feet. I don't think I'd be able to hold your feet that much because you're not as skinny as you used to be either. That's <laughs> crazy. This game is called Bench Reach. Dude, you have to have a crazy core strength. I have a core. I have a crazy core strength. No, you have a crazy gut. <laughs> if this hurts them, you can tell. Oh, that's shit. So, essentially, bench bench reach is there is a bench that someone's kneeling on a cushion on the bench and a heavy guy sits <laughs> on their feet on the back of is their car. Is this your teammate? Who's the sitter? I want to know. I think it's uh I think it has to be used by everyone. So it's <laughs> That's the, you know, that's the constant. So it has to be that, the same that, sitter. That poor sitter is going to have a sore ass. Yes. Do you know how many feet have been up it? Oh, my God. But that, it's not the feet up the ass. It's the, he's a man and the feet will be in the groin area on the other side. I feel like that's a very I, dangerous. I, I, I didn't even think of that, to be honest with you. So they kneel down. Someone sits on their calf on the bench and then they pick up this cylinder block and reach as far as they can and the furthest person to put the cylinder uh block wins is that right so do they play in categories of height or arm span oh i didn't even think about that i don't think so let's say like emma's brother yeah he's quite a long man his arm span is longer than his body oh maybe that's the categories arm spans i guess one arm so it wouldn't be, but still, let's continue. It's longer let's, than. Let's see what the girls are capable of doing. Like how far is she going? She's probably got, be- she's probably got better core strength than everyone. No, nope. oh, she shit. No, nope, she doesn't. <laughs> Here's this one. Let's see this one. Oh, this one's gonna go like. No, nope. no, nah, nope. she's terrible. No good. How about this one? Do you know? Okay. Hopefully, this doesn't sound rude. But could it be because these ladies have got breasts that they're having issues? No, they have better balance. No, no, because 
wouldn't the breasts be like weighing them down? No. More? No, no, no. Because men don't have breasts? What do you think they've got if like... they were big, they, they can weigh a lot. What's that, like a t- 10 kilos? They can weigh a lot, depends oh. how big they are. Like, 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 like a, a guy has got like that, that, that bit of weight on his chest, correct? Well, oh. the lady has to carry that weight as well. Have you seen my pectorials? Yeah. You're flooded the ironing board, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it must be really, really hard. Oh. That would be me. That would be me. That, that's not... That's yeah. The guy gets I mean? the guy when they fall, he oh. gets like Oh. Oh. Oh, oh the fails. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. This guy's already in pain. Wow. Wow, he's Ooh. a full stretch. Wow, that's hardcore. Literally. Now get back up. Now he's hurt himself. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's me. Nice no, They're all like in pain. <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> Should Look we at this try guy. it? Look at this guy. Let's try it. Holy! Wow! I reckon your kids. Could, I reckon your kids could do this. Oh! Wow! Only I reckon your he children hit the back could do of his this. Head. You couldn't. I could do this. My muscle no, separation couldn't. is still not fixed. That could so be an advantage because you could go further. Definitely not. Your separation. I'd be stuck. I wouldn't be able to get back up. <laughs> separation is this way. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um. So yeah, I don't. I, I go back to the original question. I don't know who came up with this. I don't know who comes up with some a lot of games. <laughs> but that's a. Do you reckon this will turn into an Olympic sport? That's what I was just about to ask. I reckon oh it will be. Oh, my God. I mean, why not? Why not? It's pretty old, though. Like, uh, a lot of Olympic sports like, seem pretty silly. This seems like, you know. Well, you reckon this is good? I don't know. Oh, look. It's got an Olympic. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's got an extra circle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they tricked me. They tricked me they with the tricked extra circle. Ah. Bench reach. There you go. Bench I've never reach. heard of it before. It looks intense. Yeah, it actually does. It looks painful. It does. It does. You, you have to have a very strong core. Yeah, like me. Or you do your back in. Mm. Or face in when you face plant. <laughs> oh, bench reach. You've done it again. <laughs> uh, CJ, did anything happen to you this week? Or did you hear anything? I I sent a couple of videos to WhatsApp. Yes. I didn't understand it. The two big guys? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> but like the Clippers replacing Doc Rivers with Ty Lu. I didn't understand that. Oh, no. I, 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 was, I wasn't even looking at what, what was written. Oh, okay. I was just looking at what they did. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see these articles. I've been out all day. This is CJ. Let's see this. This is pretty cool, actually. <gasps> oh! This is how me and CJ. Oh! Oh! This is how oh me and CJ go into the car. That's insane. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh! oh! When did they come up with? Right, we're gonna do this. Or is it something that they did back in high I, school together and they're just still doing it? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, but I think they started doing this when they're like 14 sizes smaller. But <laughs> the they fact continue. they can still do it at that size is amazing. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that could have went wrong there. Oh. There's a lot of things that could have went yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's a head. few backs, a few knees that could have buckled. Yeah. 
I mean, look where they start. Let's see where they start, right? Look, he finishes, right? Let's see at the start of this. He's he's on a handstand. The guy's a handstand. Yeah, I can't, I can't do a handstand and I'm not that big. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Can you, can you do a handstand, Ernie? No. I can't do one. I'll try. Because I just, feel like you have to be the two... guy at the front. I can't be the guy at the oh, back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no way in hell you're lifting my legs up over your... Without <laughs> throwing your back. But see, CJ... CJ <laughs> always goes extra. So he's like, all right. In his head, he's thinking, I've got to really put a lot of effort in. Which is which is probably right. But at the same time, he puts too much. So me going over... He, he, it's like he's throwing me over. He's not guiding me over his back. It's like, oh, CJ, thanks, bro. <laughs> thanks, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, you might take flight. Oh, my God. Oh. How about oh. the end? How about the end part? I don't even know what he's doing at the end part. Oh, it looks it, good. It, it looks like it, it looks was like a dance off. <laughs> and these two big, these two big fellas, uh, uh, big fellas, have just schooled oh, the skinny people. Oh, <laughs> it reminds me of. You remember that? That's tic- Omarion. The TikTok. Oh, that's Omarion yeah, moves. At the end. <laughs> the TikTok. It's like it's like a fat Joe and big pun. <laughs> Where the woman watched a video Break of dancers. the guy lifting her up through the crotch, and then, and then. Oh, that was a that was a TikTok yeah, bloody. The TikTok, um, and then trend. the the mum. <laughs> The mum gets the husband to do it. <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious. And the guy's like, "We can't do that." Ow, you're hurting me. <laughs> well, I've got to get my arm up through your legs. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, "Those two big dudes got agility." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at the t- look at the, and it's good. That's some <laughs> of the replies. What else is happening here? I didn't read. I didn't read what was written. I just saw that video. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> yeah. I just, you know, more than the more than the video, I like the uh, the comments. The comments. <laughs> I, I I haven't read any of the comments to be honest with you. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, if you were if you were at a club back in the day, yeah, and you we were busting the move, right? And two big fellas did that. Yeah, my, I, I must sit. Down, I must sit down, bro. They, they, they just, they, they just taught us something. Yeah, everyone will buy him a drink. <laughs> uh, so uh, Freedom Day is coming upon us. I am looking forward to it, but also have some anxiety meeting the world again. Can we talk about? Um, and I know you're wanting to end, but because you touched on Freedom Day. <laughs> I, I didn't really look into this very much, but you mentioned it and there was some... The Americans were protesting on behalf of us in Australia? Yes. Because why? Yes. Because we were being uh, suppre- uh, uh, suppressed? No, no. We were being... Um, forced. Forced to do something. They were standing up for our... Yeah, um, vaccinated. They were Pretty standing awesome. up for us. Is this just one little movement or was it like a massive event? Uh, it looked like a massive event. I'm not sure. Purely just purely for Australia. For Australia. <laughs> Don't you know. Suppressed? Uh, Are we being suppressed? Was... Are we being. Uh, what's that word no. I'm looking for? Um, you know, when you're. Shafted? No, when you're getting. Like someone's keeping you down. Yeah, suppressed. What? No, I know, but it's not the word I'm looking for. It's another word. Suppressed. Uh, but. D- uh, so they didn't have theirs isn't mandatory at all in any of their. No, no, theirs is mandatory. As, I think I think theirs is mandatory as well. So they didn't want to see it happen to anyone else. I don't actually know what yeah. they were like standing up. Yeah, for. To, to, to be to be honest with you, I, I thought theirs was mandatory as well. For I'm a lot so of confused. I'm gonna have to um, go on to an American news site and see what they say from their side. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they're talking I, about I got... oh those poor Australians. <laughs> Yeah, they're forcing them to take the vaccines and they're forgetting that they were also forced. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. But yeah, Freedom Day is among us. Next week when we have the podcast, we will have been free for about five days. I am actually a bit nervous for the kids going back to school and for myself being back in school. Um, and we'll do, just do, see how do it goes. Do you know I'm more nervous for? What? Little Archie. Why? Okay. Since the little fella, yeah, probably can remember... Everyone's wearing a mask. Mm. He's COVID has been in his life longer for I think I, we looked this up. It was something like uh, two and a half years. 
yeah, yeah he's only five it's like 50 percent of his life or more yeah. he, his covid has been yeah. around so for him mask wearing is so, quite normal, normal uh hand sanitizing normal he won't remember this when he's older when no, he's no, older but, he won't remember but this. He, yeah but he won't remember the time before this at the moment yeah but he won't remember this either he might because yeah, think but, about your like, earliest memories like, about five right yeah but he'll think yeah. it's ninjas he'll think oh everyone was a ninja there was a there was an era of ninjas <laughs> Yeah, but like when you, when, you, when you first go to the shops and people are going to be like um, ma- maskless, mm. the poor little buggers don't get freaked out. <laughs> nah, he's all, right. he's all right. He's all right. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, but also it's 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 a it's a situation, isn't it? And also, do you think people will? Do the right thing, and if they are sick, stay home, or do no. you think they'll go back to how no. it used to be? No, go back to normal. No. No. The, the thing is, right? People no. want their freedom, but people aren't responsible. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, it's like, oh, we want our freedom. Okay, are you responsible enough to do the right thing when you know you're sick? You stay home. No. No. Are you gonna be a good boy, Jack? Are you gonna be a good boy? <laughs> is my parents looking? Are my parents looking? <laughs> it's like when they get you leave the cookie. Yeah. In the, it's like, all right, don't touch the cookie. No, it, 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 you, you know, you know the saying, it ain't a crime unless you get caught, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> that's how people are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how funny. It's not a crime unless you get like caught. Like some, some idiot is going to go to work and give everyone COVID. Yeah. Be prepared. Yeah. Mm. Bloody Gary. Um. Oh, Gaza. <laughs> All right. So the B-Side World Podcast is done for another week. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy your week. I hope you have a terrific freedom day. Day. We're, 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 behind, the, we're behind. So a lot of other countries have had their freedom day. But we're joining you. And that's another episode done. Thank you very much for listening. Ciao. Arrivederci.